How you doing? This is Black Shy Guy. I have one question for you. Why is The Legend of Drez not made into a movie yet? Can you answer that for me? There's a lot of questions being thrown out as to why The Legend of Drez has not been made into a movie yet. Basically, people have opinions about it not being that popular. That basically, that Lord of the Rings was the only one capable of pulling it off because it had a bigger fan base. Which I do not think it had a bigger fan base. A lot of people did not know about Lord of the Rings until the movie came out. How many people didn't even read the book to Lord of the Rings? They just actually just watched the movie and, and enjoyed it for what it was. There's only a few people who read the books and watched the movie and did their own comparison as to why the book is still better. And it's hard to beat the book anyway, but I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. The Legend of Drizz to me is highly, highly popular. And I think people really want a movie out of that series. For the simple fact that I have seen a lot of people's opinion on Reddit saying, well, it's not gonna be accepted. Well, people are not strong about the D and D, the D and D um, stories and etc. I mean, I think that's, I think that's both. I think it's it's both. I think the Legend of Drizz should be made into a movie, and I think it will be highly successful, highly, highly accepted. Also, even even by people who didn't read the book. I read the entire series, and I got the entire series on Audible also because I just love Victor Bavine. I love his voice. I love what he brings into the story with his voice changes. He actually, every single character in the book, while he's reading it to you, has a different voice, and you can actually picture it in your mind. He just does a tremendous and great job, and I really recommend that you go listen to it on Audible if you're not willing to sit down and read the book yourself. Victor Barine actually brings out the characters to life and, and, and basically plants it into your imagination on how they would look like, how they would sound, and their characteristics and their attitudes. He's just an amazing individual. And if you don't know about Victor Bavine and you have read the book, I really do highly recommend that you also listen to it on Audible because Victor Bavine is just amazing. That's how good he is. But let's dive into the making and who should play these characters if it's actually brought out into the movies. Okay, let's dive in on who should play these characters in The Legend of Drizz if it's made into a movie. Like I said, you can put your picks down in the comments on who you prefer to portray these characters other than mine. I'm always willing to listen to anybody's opinion. Now, let's dive in. My first pick, we're going to start with Artemis Entreri, who's my favorite character in the series. Yes, he is my absolute favorite character in the series. But there's one thing people always confuse about Artemis and Cherry's appearance. He's not a white individual. Artemis and Cherry is a brown skinned character, which may be, he can be Indian, he can be, I don't know. They really don't go into his ethnic in the book. They just talk about his appearance and he's brown skinned. So all I can find on who can play Artemis and Cherry are Indian actors. And one of them is Darius Shinku. Darius Shinku is a model. He won Mr. India or whatever the case may be. If you know more about him, you can put him. You can put it down in the description. I I looked him up in Wikipedia, but I wanted to find out more. I didn't like the information they had about him or whatever. I wanted more if he did any more serious acting. But despite in appearance, to me, he can play Artemis and Cherry. If you got a better Indian actor who can play Artemis and Cherry, put it down in the comments. But I do believe Artemis and Cherry should be portrayed by somebody who's brown skinned or has that tannish color because that's his appearance with a scruffy beard and his height is about five four five five he's not even average height in men average height in men is about five six five seven so i believe that is the best choice i have for artemis and Trary. let's go to the next one next one 
will be Jarl Axel. Okay? Jarl Axel should be portrayed by don't shoot me now. Brad Pitt. Yes. Brad Pitt should play Jarl Axel in the series. Jarl Axel is very easy on our eyes as well. He's very handsome and I think Brad Pitt can easily pull that off. He's handsome. He can pull off a bald, he can pull off he can pull off a bald appearance with the brim hat and his acting is top notch. I think Brad Pitt would be a wise choice for Jarl Axel cuz Jarl Axel in the novel is considered middle age by Drow standards. By human standards, he's considered kind he's considered young. So Brad Pitt can still pull off a really good Jarl Axel and he has that charisma. So that's a pretty easy pick for me obviously but let's move on the next one will be Caddy Bree okay Caddy Bree was very very difficult she was very she's very hard to pick she has that innocence she has the freckle face she has the button nose she has that young girl innocent appearance she's not that hard edge you know, and the only person I can pick who can play Caddy Bree was Chloe, Chloe Moretz. Because Chloe Moretz has that innocent look. She's very attractive. She can also pull off a red hair female with freckles. And her age is right there according to Caddy Bree. Basically, Caddy Bree basically in the series is very young. In her 20s, mid-20s, high, um, um, almost 30. Caddy Bree is very young and I believe Chloe Moretz can pull her off quite nicely. She's also a good act she's also a good actor. She did pull off action scenes at a very young age with kick ass. So I believe Chloe Moretz is my top pick for Caddy Bree. Let's go to the next one. And the next one, no other is the main hero, Driz. Driz was also a very difficult choice. I mean, I couldn't pick anyone other than Chris Pine to play Driz. I, I there, there was no other person I could have picked, so I chose Chris Pine. Driz was also easy on our eyes. Chris Pine is very attractive. He can also pull off a 5, 4 in height character. He also looked good with the white mane. Chris Pine can also pull off, I mean, purple, I mean, purple icons. Not that that's anything big, but I think Chris Pine is my top choice for Driz. He's also a good actor. And, I mean, there's not really much to go on other than Driz's appearance, Driz's innocence, and Driz also has a very dark side to him, which is called the Hunter in the series. He just gets really, really deadly <laughs> you have to read the, you have to read the novel to really understand what i'm saying about the hunter when he goes into that mode but yes chris pine is my pick for driz it, it, it was difficult i have to say the the pick the picks for these characters were hard i hate to be the one in hollywood to pick who should play these characters but let's go to the next one and my next one is Wolfgar. Wolfgar should be played by Liam Hemworth. All right. Liam Hemworth is my pick for Wolfgar. Yes, his brother played Thor in the Avengers, but that will also bring some type of nostalgia when you're watching it. You know what I mean? Because Wolfgar, obviously, his weapon is Angus Fang, which is also a hammer. So he also has the look of Wolfgar. He can pull off blonde, um, blonde long hair. I mean, Hey, look at Thor. Look at his brother. I mean, they, they can both pull it off. You know what I mean? So my pick for Wolfgar is Liam Hemsworth. I mean, it, that was kind of easy, honestly. That was kind of easy. He's also very attractive. I don't think anybody's unattractive with the Mithril Hall, Mithril Hall Company. All of them are attractive. So it's like Liam Hemsworth is top pick for Wolfgar. All right? The next one was also very easy. Very easy. I couldn't find a good picture for this character. All the pictures of this character were awful. Awful. I mean, awful. There was one particular picture that was good, but it was kind of fuzzy. Regis. Everybody knows Regis in the novel, and I believe Peter Dicklidge can pull off a very good Regis. A very 
good Regis. He already played basically a halfling in the last series he he, he portrayed in the HBO series. And I think he also has the charisma and suave to play Regis. I mean, hands down, this was the most easiest pick out of all the characters in this series. And I think Peter Dicklitch is hands down Regis. Hands down, they should not go with anybody else. We're not even gonna stay long with this pick because it was pretty easy. Let's go to the next one. The next one will be, did we actually go through all the characters already? I believe so. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Those are my top picks for the characters. I mean, there are much, much, much more characters that can be discussed, but we're not going to go in depth like that. We're just going to, we're just, just going to stick with the top notch characters in this series. Like I said, put your, put your picks down in the comments. Let me know who you think should be played by these characters. And that's about it. 